Hi, my name is Ron Aaron, and I'm the creator of AVE, a cross-platform, secure, robust, cost-effective, extensible, and modern programming language and development environment. Today I wish, I'd like to show you just what we mean when we say one effort, multiple platforms. As with any application, you start with your source code. Using any editor you like and any desktop environment you're comfortable with, you create your application's code in the 8th language. I personally prefer to use Vim as my editor and either OSX or Linux as my work environment, but you can use anything that you like. The file we're looking at right now is one of the samples in the 8th distribution. It's a very simple tic-tac-toe kind of game. The first part of the file describes the layout of the GUI using a JSON data description format. The application itself begins at the bottom in the app main word. You can run the application directly from the command line using 8th. And as you can see, we have a tic-tac-toe game coming up very simple. But you probably don't want to deploy such an application to your end users. Instead, you'll use the build tool. Pointing it at the folder where your source code is and its support files are. Notice the build options. We can select different operating systems, different uh, parameters for the application itself, permissions. We're going to choose just to have iOS and Windows. As you can tell, I'm running this on a Macintosh, and you've already seen it run, so I figure I'll show you just the, uh, just the version of Windows and iOS running. Once you've selected your options, you simply say generate, wait a few seconds, and the build procedure finishes. At this point, you have applications that you can run. Let's take a look in a virtual machine that I have running Windows, where we can see the application, the very same application that we just saw running on OS X, running on a Windows machine. If we do about, you can see it says Windows 32-bit exactly the same application and it operates exactly the same way. And similarly, similarly we can launch the iOS application which will run in a, the iOS simulator and you can see it's exactly the same application running on iOS 32-bit. Just on the side, the application itself is encrypted, and so the deployed uh, binary does not show all of this uh, source code that we see. I hope you've enjoyed this small demonstration of the power of 8th.